percentile rank. Percentile rank for ungrouped and group data. But first, what is percentile rank? So, percentile rank describes the percentage of people in the comparison group who scored below a particular score. In computing the percentile rank of the ungrouped data, the following formula to be used is, so we use the formula percentile rank of the score that is being asked for its rank is equal to the number of values below the given score divided by the total number of data or scores times 100. To understand this, so let us have this example. Given the scores of 12 students below, what is the percentile rank of 27? So here we have the score 16, 18, 29, 30, 25, 18, 27, 16, 21, 28, 15, and 32. And we are being asked to determine the percentile rank of 27. So if you, if you notice, the scores are not properly arranged, so that doesn't matter. So that's not a problem because we are just only going to count those numbers of scores that are below the given score that is being asked, which is the number 27. And the number of scores that are smaller than 27 are, so we have 16, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So we do have 7 scores that are smaller or lower than 27. So therefore, on our formula, so this will become 27. Then divided by n, or the total number of scores that were given, so we do have 12. So we do have 12 scores here, so correction that is just only 7 and 27. Then divided by 12. Then times 100. So rewriting this one, so we are looking for the percentile rank of 27. And there are 7 scores smaller than 27. So rewriting it properly, so we do have PR of 27 is equal to 7 over 12 times 100. So multiplying this 100 to 7, so that will give us 700. And the next thing we divide that 700 by 12, so approximately, that will give us 58.33. Since we are talking about percentile rank, we need a whole number. So transforming this or rounding this up into whole number, Therefore, the percentile rank of 27 is 58. So, just, so this simply means that 58% of the students has lower score than 27. So that's how simple we determine the percentile rank. Let's have another one. Based on the scores, what is the percentile rank of 76? Again, to determine the percentile for ungrouped data, so first we count the number of values that are below or smaller than 76. And those are... So we do have 1, so 75 is one of those that's smaller than 76. We do have 1, 2, and no more. So there is only two scores that are lower than 76. So therefore, we transform this to percentile rank of, so 76 is the value that's being asked, is equal to 2, since there are two scores smaller than 76, divided by n. So our n means the total number of scores, and the number of scores that we do have here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it is 2 divided by 9 times 100. So rewriting this clearly, so the percentile rank of 76 is equal to 2 divided by 9 times 100. Further simplifying this, we multiply 100 to 2. That gives us 200. Then the next thing, we divide the 200 by 9. So approximately, this is equivalent to 22.22. So rounding this up again to whole number, because we're talking about percentile rank, so, we state that the percentile rank of 76 is equal to 22, implying that 22% of the scores is lower than 76. So, this is how we determine the percentile rank for ungrouped data. So, how about in terms of group data? In computing the percentile rank of the group data, so we use this formula. So, the percentile rank of the score that we are looking will be equal to 100 divided by n times P minus LB times the frequency of the percentile that we are looking for divided by the class interval or I plus cumulative frequency of the percentile rank that we are looking before. So PR means percentile rank. P represents the row score that we are wanting to look for its percentile rank. LB, of course, as we all know, means lower boundary. N, total frequency. CF, cumulative frequency. F, P, frequency of the percentile class, and I is the class interval. So let us see how does this works in looking for the percentile rank for the group data. We do have a frequency distribution table, and we are asked to find the percentile rank of 37. 
So, using the formula, percentile rank is equal to 100 divided by N times quantity P minus lower boundary times the frequency divided by the class interval plus the community frequency of the percentile rank that we are looking for before or below. So, in determining the percentile rank for the group data, so we first set a point of reference to where we are going to use the data from it to substitute on our formula. So, how do we do that? Since we are asked to find the percentile rank of 37, so first things we're going to, to locate or to trace to which part on the class interval does 37 falls in between. So, upon observing, so we can see that 37 falls under 36 to 40. So, therefore, this will be the area or the region to where we are going to use as our point of reference towards in the substitution process. So, since we already set the part of the table that we will be using for the substitution, so let us now start. So, first, we do have 100 divided by N, and our N based on the table is 50. So, we do have here 50. So, again, N means the total frequency. So, if ever that it is not visible uh, or not given the value of N, so we just simply add up all of those values on the frequency column. Next, quantity times P. P, keep in mind, is the score that is being asked to determine for its percentile rank. And we are being asked to determine the percentile rank of 37. Next, minus the lower boundary. So, is our lower boundary column. And on it, so we do have here 35.5 on our point of reference. So, subtracting by 35.5. Then, quantity. Multiplying to the frequency. Here is our frequency column. And on our point of reference, we do have there 11. So, times 11. Then, divided by the class interval. So, class interval is on our class interval column. So, upon looking at the interval of each number, 25, 30, 35. So, obviously, our class interval is 5. So, a difference of 5. Then, plus the commutative frequency below. So, we will be using what is below on our point of reference on the commutative frequency column. And what we do have there is 27. So, writing our equation. So, we do have now here 100 divided by 50 times quantity 37 minus 35.5 times 11 divided by 5 plus 27. So, we can simplify these parts first. So, we can have 100 divided by 50 and 37 minus 35.5. So, 100 divided by 50, that will give us 2 and 37 minus 35.5, that will give us 1.5. So, the next thing, we are to multiply this 1.5 to 11. So, multiplying it properly, it will give us 16.5. Next thing, we divide 16.5 by 5 and that will give us 3.3. Then adding up these two values, 3.3 plus 27. So that gives us now 30.3. Then the last thing, multiplying these two values. So 2 times 30.3. So that gives us 6.6. .6. Since we're talking about percentile rank, we need the whole number. So we round this, this off. So, therefore, the percentile rank of 37 is 61. So, this simply means that 61% of the scores is less than 37. So, this is how simple we determine the percentile rank for the group data. Let us have another one. So, hope you will be able to understand the percentile rank at the end of this one. So, find the percentile rank of 28. So, 28, again, to do the substitution process in our formula to use, we need to set point of reference, and we are going to locate 28 to the part of the class interval column that covers 28. So, and it is here. So, from 28 to 30, so this will be our point of reference. These are the values somehow that we will be used to substitute on our formula. So, the percentile rank now will become equal to 100. So, divided by n, this time our n is 30. So, our n here is 30. Quantity. P, P means the raw score that is being asked for the percentile rank and we are asked for that number 28's percentile rank. Next thing, subtracted by the lower boundary. So our lower boundary on our point of reference is 27.5. Then we multiply to the frequency. Our frequency on our point of reference is 6. Then we divided by the class interval. So what would be our class interval this time? So, let us look at the column of the class interval and it is here. So, looking at the sequence of our numbers, 27 becoming 30, becoming 33. So, our class interval is 3 this time. So, a difference or interval of 3 for each numbers. Then, plus the cumulative frequency below. 
So here's our cumulative frequency, and we are to use what is below, so we will be using number 2. So we substitute this by the number 2. So writing it clearly, so we do have percentile rank is equal to 100 divided by 30, quantity 28 minus 27.5 times 6 divided by 3 plus 2. So simplifying parts of our equation, so we may already divide 100 by 30, and also 28 minus 27.5. So, transforming our equation into, so, for 100 divided by 30, that gives us 3.33 approximately. Then, 28 minus 27.5, that will give us 0 0.5. So, the next thing, we are to multiply this 6 to 0 0.5, and that will give us 3. Then, dividing 3 by 3, and that will give us 1. So, next thing, we add these two values. So, 1 plus 2, so that will give us 3. And then the next thing, we multiply now this 3 to 3.33 that we had on the first part of the equation. And this will give us 9.99. So we need the whole number. So we round off this 9. Since it has 9 beside it, therefore the percentile rank of 28 is 10. So meaning, this simply tells us that 10% of the scores is less than 28. Okay, so that's how easy. We determine the percentile rank, whether for a group data or an group data. So, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something specifically about percentile rank. See you next time.